Hi everybody, um, my name is Lynn and this is my channel Nana M. It's a lifestyle channel and I do all sorts of different things. I do hauls, fashion try-ons, um, half a day in the life of, baking, blogs. Anyway, this is something a little bit different. It's a massive, massive garage declutter and organize and it's a big one <laughs> I'm quite embarrassed really to even show you what it started off like um, but it's something that's been um, on our minds to do for a while but every time we looked at it we were just overwhelmed and I'm sure you know on a smaller scale there's quite a few people out there that get overwhelmed and don't know where you don't know where to start. It's that big a task, you just don't know where to start. So um I thought I'd take you along with me on this journey. It's took um how long has it took? Over a week. Yeah, definitely over a week. Maybe yeah, maybe two. I can't remember now. Um, because we have had other stuff going on as well in between. But it's been um a triumph. We're glad we did it and if I can motivate somebody else um, to tackle a job that's big, that's getting on your nerves, that needs doing but you can't face it, watch this video <laughs> and hopefully you'll get some inspiration. Set a date, get on with it. Anyway, I must just tell you before it starts that there is a little piece of the beginning that's missing so i'm sorry about that so it just kind of like start about maybe five or ten minutes in but um it doesn't really matter because you you get the gist of how, what a total utter mess it was so put me on pause put the kettle on make yourself a brew put your feet up <laughs> and watch the video See you soon. You see that worked up there. Look at the state of that. That was oh, God along this wall. Can you see on top of this? And it went all the way down there. And then there was another one that went across there. And all this stuff here. Look at it all. Tools, boxes of this, boxes of that. Rubbish, some of it, some of it not. All that was stacked all the way underneath that worktop. All the way on top of the worktop and all the way under and on top down there. And we also have some racks at the back of there that's got all sorts of stuff on it. Unbelievable. Anyway, we're going to sort it all out, go through it all. We've already got a car full of rubbish. Sure, can't we? Well, I can't show the um, job we did was. This, there was a shelf. I don't even know where it is. Let me see. Was that shelf I've that had all your stuff on the nails back, and stuff? Right at the back of all that. Is it? Oh, there it is, look. I'll show it you. This thing here, this shelving thing down here, originally was on that wall across there with all screws, nails, all sorts of stuff on it. And my husband, Mr. M, <laughs> has shelving unit all the way across there. And all that stuff that was over there is now on that out of the way. So now we've got that clear wall to go at. This is all going. Look at that. Look at it all. Oof. Anyway, we shall do it. Won't we? We will. <laughs> One way or another. <laughs> right, I'm just showing you this now. We've just been to the range this morning. They didn't have every size that we wanted, but we managed to get those with the purple lids. They're one size. 
and then we ended up going to home bargains they didn't have the ones that we wanted in fact they're very little to choose from at home bargains so we went to B&M's and we got all these pretty numbers so that's uh, as we're sorting through things they're all going to get filled up have a lid put on so that they'll be dust free and a label on the front so that's where we are up to now i'll give you another little update tomorrow bye right okay everybody this is the second part of this video and um, i'll show you the work that we've done up to present and then of course there'll be another one maybe in between but probably when it's finished so if you can remember it was just absolutely chock-a-block all down all through the middle piled eye anyway this is where we are so far obviously you've got to have a mess before you can have it right haven't you but anyway here we go so along this side now where i showed you that worktop used to be we've now got shelving units all the way down the side and then we've just got this little area here where there's going to be things down there and my husband's put things up there long things so that they're out of the way he's even put brush up there on the wall so that'll be all this will be gone and there'll be things down there I think he's put, going to put the steps there and his uh, workmate. But anyway, that first lot of shelving's just got all camping gear on it. All this that's in front of that, that you can see, is stuff that we still need to go through. Most of it is probably going to get thrown away, but we do need to go through it because there might be some important papers in there. And then that, next to that, the next two shelving units are going to be for all my stuff crafts things i want to keep autumn summer christmas decor all that kind of carry on so i've got all those and i bought myself some new plastic tubs to put everything in and they're going to be labeled and then at that end that last one i'll show you from over here and then you can see it all on the bottom there we've got um, one box of electrical, one box of plumbing. The next two up are all decorating things. Paint, varnish, wood paint, all that carry on. And then on the very, very top, we've got two fishermen, fishermen's beds they're called. They're really, really comfy. And sometimes when we go away in the caravan, my daughter and her boyfriend will come over stay for one night and then go back and we they pick those up and bring them with them and that's where they sleep on those in the awning bless them when it's warm and then going across here that was the worktop that was originally on that right hand side where the racks are so my husband's put it over there he's put some shelving underneath he's got that whiteboard on top that was originally on the uh, the other wall that's still to be completed he's going to put all his um, spanners as you can see on top there all in order of size he's going to put them all on that board he's put himself some shelves up there for all this stuff and then he's got some shelves up that end court rack and up to now he's just finished painting this part of the floor only so far in as you can see only so far in and then when that's dry all this that you can see in the middle not that not that uh, that fits all these uh, boxes of tools and everything they all fit they all have a place over there under there so once that's dry and all this gets moved over there we can then start to paint towards the door till eventually it's all painted so this still this is our workbench for the minute <laughs> that's all rubbish that's our rubbish box 
stuff to get through. And that's as far as we've got. Say hiya. 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 <laughs> This is the man that does all the work. <laughs> okay, next instalment coming soon. Bye. Hi everybody. Right, the um, the garage is near enough, hundred percent complete. So I'm going to show you what we've done. So I'll turn you around, and we'll start at the garage door. So <coughs> this is what we've managed to achieve what it was before so I'll just give you a little show start off here in this corner and as we said all the long things they tucked up there in that little space up there see Harvey's put my brush and shovel on that wall his workmates and his uh, Steps, bits and bobs. Henry Hoover, can't live without Henry Hoover. Henry Hoover's all our massive uh, mess up. <laughs> Obviously not inside the house, on the outside and in the garage. And then we've got this storage area that's got all our camping stuff, caravan stuff on it, more or less. And then underneath, they're just a couple, one's a gardening one and one's uh, extra tools. That's my uh, treadmill that will be featured in another video vlog that's coming up soon. And then I've got, well, nearly I've got these next two shelving units, floor to ceiling, boxes, labels on for all my crafts, my sewing, my paints, that I never could get to before and then just my sewing machine and then some bits and bobs things I want to keep under there stationery blah de blah and then in this corner we've got um, two fishermen's beds then we've got paints and then underneath this chair, we've got uh, paint, painting things like rollers, blah, blah, and then uh, plumbing and electrical. Then I've just got a couple of more boxes there and a basket that for some reason the husband doesn't want to throw away. And we've got a fridge that we keep extra beer and cans and stuff in, in there. And then that. Now, if you remember, that workbench, I told you before, was all the way across that wall. So we kind of like had to pull everything out from that wall to start to put back in a tidy way. So that worktop that was there is now here. And it's got uh, all my husband's tools, really. Yeah. I think there's a, a place for everything and everything in its place, but he still has a little bit on top of his bench to sort out yet. But that's by the by. It's only a bit, really. And then he's got uh, all sorts going on up here. Gardening stuff. Car stuff. Hanging a quartz up there. I couldn't even find a quartz before. We've got two little electric scooters that we've used on holiday when we've gone camping. Uh, then we've got this little area. Garden holes have been, Caligas for the caravan, power washer and uh, weed killer. And then that's his uh, shelving units that he's made, especially for his screws and nails and, and other stuff. That's his little mirror blessing where he comes in here to shave so that he doesn't make a mess. <laughs> Poor Harvey. And we've painted two corks on the floor. So now 
uh, all I would have to do to get my car in is move that treadmill. Well, I only want to put my car in when it's like winter. So, so yeah, we've gone for a mess to tidy and organised. I like it in here now. That's it. One last sweep around. And that's it, that's our garage. Nice and tidy and workable now. And there is no more rubbish getting stored in here. So, what do you think? Have I motivated you to do it? Have you got a mess that needs clearing up? Well, get to it. Set yourself a date, go for it. Most definitely, so satisfying, it's unbelievable. We've been to the tip at least seven times. Filled the car and it's a CRV, full, seven times. So that's how much rubbish we have. Plus we've given furniture away on top of that. Plus moved a little bit upstairs that I wanted to keep. So you can imagine. Yeah. Okay. See you in a minute. Right. So as you can see, it was a mammoth task, but we've done it. And I have to say, we, f we felt dragged down with it. Whenever you went in there and you wanted to find something, you couldn't find it. And, and you just felt deflated. Now, if I go in there, I'm quite uplifted. I love going in and getting on my treadmill. And as I said, that's going to be featuring into in a, another video that I'm, well, a vlog that I'm doing. Um, so watch out for that one. So if you've enjoyed this video, um, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Have you got storage areas or even a room in your house that needs an absolute 100% declutter? Let me know. I'll try and spur you on to do it. We've got other areas that need sorting out. You know, you're not on your own. I think everybody's got them. I think if your house is 100% totally in order, up to date with the decorating, clean, tidy and everything, every single part of your house, your drive, your garage, your garden, you're very lucky. I don't know many. So even if you've only got a little space, have a go. So, thank you for watching. And if you wouldn't mind, leave me that comment. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, please, would you consider subscribing if you haven't already? And if you do, would you hit the notification bell? And then you won't miss an upload. So, get some inspiration or some motivation. Get decluttering. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Look after yourself. Bye for now. Thank you.